You know, in 2016, there was, I would say, an awakening at Geo Appliances, and it, and it really kind of lit the fire of innovation. And you see this innovation, this entrepreneurial spirit, really come through in multiple areas of the business. This entrepreneurial spirit really feeds off itself, and it and it drives uh, energy across the business as people really look to what's next and how do we evolve and how do we um, reach for the next the next tool and the next process. Many companies talk about a digital transformation, and at GEA, that digital transformation is really what's driving us forward as a company. It's allowing us to grow. It's allowing us to outperform. But at the base of any digital transformation, what I think the thing people miss is metrology. We quickly realized that you know all the 3D data in the world is, is not that valuable if engineers can't get their hands on it. So it's really important that, that they have ease of access so they can make decisions fast. So the leadership team was all in from the beginning and really pushed that entrepreneurial spirit to really think big and dream big and, and be okay to fail. Leadership just kind of gave the keys uh, to the business to go and transform it and make it the way that it needs to be. Everything starts with metrology. And at GEA, we were very early on knowing that we had to get better at metrology if we really wanted to transform our business. A good analogy in comparing what we used to do to what we do now. It's kind of like when you're going on a trip and you need a map, right? And back in the day, you used to have paper maps. So you had to get a map of the area that you're looking for and you're trying to figure out, you know, where you are now and, and then where you have to go. And you jump back in the car, hope you remember everything, right? And today we have GPS. So in the past, we would start with a paper 2D drawing and try to, you know, give an assessment of what we're, what we're trying to create. Now with the CAD model and the digital space, you're able to represent that 3D part in a way that people can look at it from any angle, be able to understand it. And at the end of the day, it's really about communication. The whole point of having a CAD model is so I can communicate to my supplier, so I can communicate to my team members, so I can communicate to the service organization what we're trying to do with the parts and, and its place in the product. We were using six, at least six different softwares across the business, uh, 20 CMMs and some scanner arms and other portable devices. And we knew that there was gonna be power in getting all of these devices utilizing the same software, all of them speaking the same language, Polyworks, and the interconnectivity of all of our devices and the communication of the data through Data Loop. That's been really powerful. A simple thing, just hit the upload button on all of our devices and the data is right there, readily available for our engineering community to consume the data and make data-driven decisions. The Polyworks and, and what we use for Data Loop, very easy to use and the value, if you, we, we've had so many successes in the past on, on solving problems with these tools. Because I remember when I was doing engineering work and trying to solve those problems 20 years ago, it would take us, you know, days, weeks, sometimes months before we really truly understood, you know, the root cause. Whereas in this moment, it was basically hours. Accessing the data in 3D is very, very important. And so we've really seen the uptake of engineers really doing that and pulling on that because they're able to understand their parts and their processes in, in a much better way than they ever could with, say, a PDF report or an Excel report or a picture of the part. If you incorporate these tools into your design process up front, you're able to do assessments, you're able to do simulations, you're able to do analysis digitally before you ever spend a dollar on doing prototypes or, or building up things. There's a, a ton of work that you can do digitally to make sure that you have a sound design and that you understand how it's gonna perform and do that on the front end as opposed to the back end. There are several reasons why we find uh, Data Loop uh, such a fantastic solution. With traditional CAD programs, there's a heavy barrier to entry. 
meaning you have to have some initial training, you have to have this specialized software installed, and for a lot of people that's intimidating. Polyworks Data Loop, on the other hand, because it's a web-based solution and there's no software installation and the user interface is simple and easy to use, it really provides a really low on-ramp for engineers to, to jump in and, and start consuming data right away. And we see hundreds of people across the business that may never have turned a CAD model on their screen ever and they're accessing that data in Polyworks Data Loop and they're looking at a CAD model really for the first time. Our relationship with InnoMetric is very special to us, and it's one that's helped us innovate together, whether it be through the Data Loop solution or Inspector or custom integrations. Uh, InnoMetric has helped push us and our processes forward, and we've helped push the development of the software uh, with them forward. In, in the collaboration with Polyworks that we have, we've been working very tightly. We've been giving them feedback as what we want to see from a manufacturer's perspective. What do we need from the tool? and we had this huge Excel list. This is everything we want. We want this, 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 and this. And, and the team at, at Anatometric says, okay, prioritize all this stuff. So the excitement would just grow with every time that we would get one of these. It's kind of like a little Christmas. Anatometric uh, has provided the security necessary for us to be able to share and communicate our data and keep everybody's data separate from each other. That's important that supplier A and supplier B's data is separate and they only see what they see, but GE sees everything. We talk about digital threads, we talk about having a digital thread all through the consumer's lifestyle, but without proper metrology to measure that, we knew we could never get where we need to go. And it's been an unbelievable transformation, aided by these tools, and really bringing us to the next level in our product development and satisfying our customers as we go forward. We really didn't know much about this when we got started. We didn't really know anything about 3D scanning when we got started, but we started, and we started learning, and, and we learned what not to do, <laughs> and over time we learned what to do. I remember the first time that it sunk in for me that we was really on to something. We were having a product problem and as I looked around the room, everybody's screen was on data loop in some control view or looking at some color map. And we were all just consuming the three-dimensional data. And I remember thinking, this is the way that we need to be working. You think about where we were five years ago versus today, it, it's, it's absolutely uh, incredible. We're never gonna go back to designing off of 2D paper drawings anymore.